So why do we go with such a big solar suitcase? Well, you know, a lot of us kind of run the standard 200 amp hour batteries on our trailers when we're out camping. And let's say we use about 50 to 75 amp hours of power. Well, just to kind of give you some real easy numbers to think about, a 100 watt solar panel is gonna put out, let's say roughly six amps. And if you have a five hour sunlight day, which is kind of the average amount of sunlight hours you get in a day, it's gonna take uh, you know five hours to generate 30 amp hours of power. So you still have another 20 to you know 45 amp hours you may wanna reaccumulate because some of us will use 50 amp hours in a day. And so that's gonna take quite a bit more power. So if you get a 200 watt, 300 watt, a 300 watt solar panel is basically going to generate 75 to 80 amp hours of power in a five hour day. So the numbers are quite a bit bigger as you go up in watts. So that's basically the reason we, we, we went with something a little bit bigger because there's always loss when it comes to your solar panels. When you have a 100 watt solar panel, you may only get 90 watts out of it out of optimal conditions. So, and that's the same thing when you go with 200 watts, 300 watts you may only get 275 watts under optimal conditions and you're also gonna lose a little bit in amps. And then you also have some loss in your connection through an extension, a little bit of loss that happens to go through your solar charge controller, and then a little bit of loss by the time it actually gets to your battery. So hence the reason we're going with something a little bit bigger so we can get those amp hours back quicker and you're not kind of hanging out by your solar panels all day. So basically I'll take you through kind of how I built this solar panel suitcase, kind of give you a little bit of idea of maybe if it's something you guys want to try. And uh, you know, I'll give you kind of a list too of uh, some of the items I bought. They're all available online. So let's get to it, let's check it out. All right, so what we're looking at here is the suitcase folded up and closed. And that's just basically a strap with a finish washer on one side. And then you have a button snap on the other side and you can pick this up at all kinds of locations home depot ace hardware they have usually a lot of this material what we're looking at here this is called hydro turf i basically got this from when i was racing jet skis uh years ago and uh, that's basically where your feet go that's kind of like uh, the mats that your feet are on i had this left over from basically some sponsorship so i got some glue cut that up and and basically stuck it on and it, it protects the edges of the panel when I'm setting it on the ground and also gives me a nice grip when I carry this thing instead of having a strap I went with kind of a two-hand pickup on this because it is a little bit heavier so we're looking at these uh, hinges here these are two and a half inch utility hinges and I would go with these versus like some of the door hinges those are a lot heavier and this is kind of like a little holding uh, device that I kind of made for uh, a tool to basically take off these allen bolts and uh, that's just basically holding the angle aluminum that will join these two panels together to make them a lot more rigid. And that's how I store the prop rods. They just kind of poke down in there so they're ready to go whenever I need them. And I'll kind of show you how this thing works as I set it up. So you can see how I'm carrying the case. It just kind of sits right down there on that hider turf, kind of protects those frame rails, undo the single snap. And then we'll fold this thing open and kind of point it towards us. Kind of see what's going on. So uh, you can see how I have the prop rod stored there. And I will store both of my MC4 connectors and the cable kind of tucked in behind those. Kind of a nice little spot. I was thinking about getting some quick clips or something like that. But so far that's actually working out pretty good. So anyway, uh, the Allen bolts that I have here. The other day when I was setting this up again, I, I thought about changing the bolts over to some quick pins. That would kind of eliminate probably 45 seconds right here. Um, and not that this takes a long time, but if I could get some quick pins to kind of try that out, um, it, it might actually eliminate this little step and be a better idea. So, uh, but I did drill and tap these, so it is ultra rigid when I put it together and it's super stout. It just kind of stays there, doesn't move at all. So, um, however, I, again, I, I think I will try out the pins here in a few days or, you know, just to give it a shot. All right, so we'll prop these rods out, set the panel down, and this is kind of more the upright position kind of like how you would use it during the winter time. And we can adjust these prop rods again and kind of really bring them in. And, and this thing will lay almost flat with the rods all the way collapsed. Uh, that would be more of your summertime usage when that sun is really up overhead. And so as you can see, it just kind of sitting there. Um, super stout. This thing isn't really going to go anywhere. Even under some winds the other day when I was trying it out, it was kind of windy and, and uh, the thing really didn't move. Uh, normally I'll have my solar extension cable kind of down there and I'll, I'll put a link in the description and also something up top and you guys can take a look at that. I basically took some 10 gauge wire 
and uh, use some braided copper because I wanted something a little bit better quality than some of the stuff you get online, which sometimes you don't really know what you're getting. So I'd just rather make my own. Uh, what you're looking at right there, that's basically just some ABS plastic spacers. And I got those at Ace Hardware. If you ever need like kind of those oddball little spacers or things like that, Ace Hardware is a great place. They have a lot of miscellaneous items that you can't really typically pick up at maybe Lowe's or Home Depot. So, But uh, yeah, most of this other stuff I picked up at Home Depot. Uh, actually, like these little clear bumpers here. Uh, I picked these up at Home Depot and I bought a pack of eight. And I stuck one on each corner of each panel, so there's eight of them on there. That way, when this thing closes up, it actually has a nice little even gap, and the glass doesn't rub against each other. And you'll kind of see, I'll, I'll throw up a little video right there. Uh, you see how there's a nice little even gap all the way around, so it's just resting on those clear bumpers, kind of, you know, protects the glass and the frame rails and such. So... And another look at the hydro turf there and how it sits on the ground. It, it also provides kind of a non-slip, so it's kind of nice. It uh, doesn't move when you're in the dirt or on the grass, so... All right, so we'll get this thing kind of packed up, and you kind of see how I'll take the uh, cables and kind of tuck them into the rail there, and I'll use the uh, prop rod to basically hold that in place. And then we'll take out these uh, Allen bolts and kind of put those back into place, get that thing into the storage position. And, and again, I'm going to try those pins out. I think that might be a, a nice little idea. We'll see if it's still rigid enough. If it is with the pins, then uh, I'm going to go with that. But maybe I'll do a little update on the video, kind of show you that. So get this thing folded. Put the little strap on here. Kind of let's go over some pros and cons also about this setup. Uh, so one thing with this basically solar suitcase is that one of the biggest things is that it's big. So it provides a lot of power. Um, and that helps eliminate the need of maybe having to run your generator so much. So or maybe not need one at all depending on where you're going or how much power you typically use. Another thing is, is that it's mobile, so it helps you be able to kind of get those best angles for the sun. And not to mention that you can also find the sun. So if your panels happen to be on your trailer, you park the trailer in the shade at a certain park or wherever it is you may be, you may not get any sun on your panels at all. So uh, another thing is, is that it is multiple use, so you might be able to go help and charge up somebody's trailer if you need to. And also, if you happen to sell your trailer, you can take it to the next one. Or maybe if you have a boat and you want to just take one of these panels because it does come apart, I can just use one if I need to. Um, you can go charge up a boat or something of the sort. And so if you take a look at the cons, I mean, again, this thing is pretty big. So space might be an issue in trying to figure out how to store it. I, I just kind of throw it in the back of my truck. And I do have a spot in the trailer I can use as well. But uh, just having it on the side of the truck works really well. So another thing, too, it is heavy. It's 48 pounds. So that's basically the size of those 2,000 watt generators. So you may want to consider that. And, of course, there is a setup and takedown of it, which is really not that bad. It's about two minutes uh, to set it up, two minutes to take it down, so not too bad. Anyway, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are using out there. Is it a 100-watt panel, 200-watt solar suitcase that you guys have? And, and what, what do you like and what do you not like about certain things? Anyway, if you guys happen to like what you see in the video, give me a like and a subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you guys then.